Bible says on how to keep the Sabbath day. I'm going to show you that, all right, bro? Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So you have to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. One of the... Hmm? Holy is being separate. Separate from the world. Because what you did six days, what you did six days, you went by, you went and bought on the, on the six days. You sold. You went to work, right? You cooked. Are those the things that you did? But on the Sabbath day, you can't do those things, so you are separate from doing those things. Now, you, you, you said rest. Yes, you do supposed to rest. But there's more to it than that. There's, there's, there's like a laundry list of things that you have to do to keep it holy. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Because we forgot. Mainly we forgot because of this religion right here. We forgot how to keep the Sabbath day holy. What is the Sabbath day? Let me ask you that. What is the Sabbath day? We have to keep the Sabbath day. When is the Sabbath day? Friday night to what? To Saturday night. So we're in the Sabbath right now then, right? Right, we're in the Sabbath. So what should you be doing on the Sabbath? How do you keep the Sabbath day? Give me that Exodus 20. Huh? Resting? Okay. So you rest, you enjoy the fulfillment. What is, what is that going into, for enjoying the fulfillment? What does that mean, enjoying the fulfillment? Okay, let me show what the Bible says on how to keep the Sabbath day. I'm going to show you that, all right, bro? Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So you have to remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. One of the, hmm? Holy is being separate. Separate from the world. Because what you did six days, what you did six days, you went by, you went and bought on the, on the six days. You sold, you went to work, right? You cooked. Are those the things that you did? But on the Sabbath day, you can't do those things, so you are separate from doing those things. Now, you, you, you said rest. Yes, you do supposed to rest. But there's more to it than that. There's, there's, there's like a laundry list of things that you have to do to keep it holy. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Because we forgot. Mainly we forgot because of this religion right here. We forgot how to keep the Sabbath day holy. So now we're going to remember it. And I'm going to show you how to, how to keep it. Read it. Read it. Keep on. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And it shall thou do any work. So you're not supposed to do any work. Right? Now, give me um, Leviticus 31. 31.16. Uh, Exodus, you know what I mean. 31.16. Read that. This is the book of Exodus chapter 31, verse 16. Wherefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations for a perpetual covenant. So we're supposed to keep the Sabbath throughout our generations. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You are a, a Hispanic, right? So-called. Mexican is a so-called Hispanic. No? Okay, so what is Mexican then? Mexican is Mexican. So what, what were you called before then? Yeah, before Mexican. Were, okay, so look. Come over here. You, you're from who? Okay, so you're from, the, you're from the children of Israel, right? Okay, all right, cool. So you say from the tribe of Zebulon, Issachar, long as you 12 tribes, I'm not going to argue whether if you're a Mexican or a Zebulon, you know better than I. I don't, I don't know. I just, you identify as an Israelite? Cool. So now I'm going to give you what? Keeping the Sabbath. Now give me Nehemiah now. Let me give you, matter of fact, go first go to uh, Luke chapter 4. Let's see what Christ was doing on the Sabbath day. Because you say day of rest. And, and then there's other things that you just don't know what we should be doing. One of the things, what we're not supposed to cook, kindle no fire. Do you cook on the Sabbath? Do you buy or sell? Do you, are you going to go in the jewels and buy something if you get thirsty or something? Not really? You going to work today? Okay, so you're keeping the Sabbath then if you don't do those things. But here's something else you should be doing. Read that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 1. And Jesus 
being full of the Holy Ghost, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing. Verse 16. Verse 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. So Christ went to the synagogue on the Sabbath and he read the Bible. So that's one of the things that we should be doing. Right? What we're doing right now. We're going out because we're full of the spirit of Christ. And we're teaching our people what they don't know about Christ. So you should be keeping the Sabbath day by what? Going to the synagogue, reading, and what comes with reading is listening, right? Teaching the Bible. So is that something that you're going to be doing today? You did? When? Last night? Okay, cool. Now give me uh, Nehemiah chapter 10. So let's go into some more about keeping the Sabbath day, right? Really? So we're not supposed to keep the Sabbath? Okay. So if you don't do what the Bible says, what 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 does that mean? If you if you do anything contrary to the Bible, what are you doing? So if you break God's laws, what is that called? Uh huh? That's that's called sin. It's the book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Whoso committed sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's laws. If you're not keeping the Lord's Sabbath day holy, you're breaking God's laws. Sin. Right? Yeah, what's the word? Law. Law? law. What is law? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, no, I'm saying what, no. What's the Hebrew word? Word for law. Do, do you speak Hebrew? Do you speak Hebrew? I don't speak Hebrew. So I don't know what the Hebrew word is. I know English. So I know what law means in English. It means what? A commandment. So God gives you commandments. So read that again. Whoso committed sin transgresseth also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So if you break God's laws, what? There's punishment on that. Give me Hebrew 6. I mean Romans 6. So if you break God's laws, there's a, there's a punishment on that. There, well, there is a punishment for breaking God's laws. Do you, you understand that? According to the Bible. Read that. This is the book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. So the wages of sin is death. So there's a punishment. There's a wages of sin is death. So you do know about the second death, right? You know about the second death? You know about the second death? Are you in repentance? Do you? No. No. Are you in sin right now? Okay, let me show you what I don't do. Give me Hebrews 10. Let me show you what I don't do. Hebrews 10, 26. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we willfully, if we sin willfully. So if we sin willfully, right? Read. After that, we have received the knowledge of the truth. There remains no more sacrifice for sins. So if you sin willfully, there's no repentance for you. You know what I'm saying? Because now what? There's no sacrifice. So now you look, you're making a mockery of Christ. Right. You're saying the hell with Christ. Right. Now, of course, in repentance, you're working on things. You understand that? We understand that. But if you if you were willfully ignoring the laws of God, saying, ah, I'm not going to do that, now that's when transgression of death comes. So you understand that? So you're supposed to keep the Sabbath day holy, right? Read that one more time. For if we sin willfully, after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remaineth no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for a judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. So you know this was Paul writing to the Hebrews, right? Those who knew, those who knew that they knew of Christ, right? So he said, if you sin willfully, there's going to be a fearful looking of judgment, a fiery indignation. Give me that in Revelation. So you can't just sin willfully. You understand that? There's no buying, there's no selling. Are you married? No? You, do you deal with women? No? Do you watch porn? No. So what sin are you in? I am willful in sin. What? No, what, what's, what sin? What sin do you commit? When I don't love my brother, when I don't love love, Everyone else. When I sometimes get mad at someone, and then even if I'm mad, 
Give me uh, Ephesians 4:31. Let's see. Let's see if one of these is that you you fall into. Read this. This is the book of Ephesians, chapter four, verse thirty-one. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you. Be put away from you. You got to let all these things be put away from you. Read verse twenty-nine now. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. So, do you let corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth? Sometimes. So that means you're in sin, right? So, do, is the Holy Ghost flee from you from that from that point? Is the Holy Ghost flee from you at that point? No. No. So, is who? He dwells in you, so you can continue in sin. So, what are you, so what are you supposed to do when you do commit sin? Mm -hmm. Repent. How do you repent? Find as hard as you can, not to ever do it again. Say what? Uh, not, not to do it again. So, so who are you supposed to confess it to? If you if you sin, who you confess it to? Christ. Okay, read this. This is the book of Psalms, chapter thirty-two, verse five. I acknowledge my sin unto thee and my iniquity. So when you sin, you acknowledge your iniquity. Iniquity. Go to uh, Psalms five and five. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 5, verse 5. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Hatest all workers of iniquity. That is sin. Okay, go to 1 John 5, 17. This is the book of John, 1 John, chapter 5, verse 17. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is sin not unto death. So iniquity, sin, unrighteousness, all is that the same thing? Workers of iniquity, rolling in darkness, that is the same thing. Now, give me Proverbs, give me Proverbs chapter 4, verse 19. Proverbs, it's the same thing, brother. You can't play on words like that. You know what I'm saying? But the same, but okay, so what is iniquity? What, what is iniquity? Meaning is a root that causes sin. What is that? What is that? Yeah. Go to Daniel. Oh. Uh. Read that real quick. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 4, verse 19. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. So the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not what they stumble. So being in sin is being in darkness as well. Workers of iniquity is workers of sin. That's right. That is unrighteousness. That is what that is. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. 